Hey girls, it's Clancy, and today I'm going to be doing a very long-awaited video, and this is like a vlog because, can I just tell you guys something? I am so sick right now, like I'm not even going to get into it right now because this video is probably going to be already very long. Whoa, hair, what's up? So basically this is my um, allergy video, or my anaphylactic story of my life in when that happened. Oh, and I'm so sick right now, yeah, so like I said, if I sound different, if I sound weird, I'm so sorry, but... You know, you should be thankful that I'm so sick and I'm doing this video anyway for you guys because I'm just that nice. No, I'm totally kidding. So yeah, so as a lot of you know, I have very severe allergies. I'm basically allergic to everything, but I'm only anaphylactic allergic to some things. Um, for those of you who do not know what anaphylaxia is, I have it. It's basically just going to kind of like, you know, get into it. And what, what is anaphylaxia? You know, we'll, we'll find out. So, okay, so the, the setting, the year is 7th grade. Right now I'm in 12th grade, so I was in 7th grade. And, um... Never been allergic to anything in my life. I'm just living my life, living large like Larry, if you will. I'm just, I'm on, I'm great. So, I come home one day, and I went ice skating at um, this girl's birthday party. So I went ice skating, I come home, and I remember my friends Carly and Gianna called me, and they're like, hey, you want to go bowling with me, um, with us? Um, and I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, it's cool. So I go bowling with them, and then we come back to Carly's place, and they're kind of eating, you know, whatever, we all eat, it's normal, okay? Um, and I remember she offered me, um, her dad offered me um, some nuts, like tree nuts, peanuts, in like this little jar. And I had always eaten peanut butter, but I'd never tried um, a tree nut before. Um, actually, that's, that, that's a mistake, I'll tell you about that after though. I had tried it before, but... And, like, my throat felt itchy. I remember I took a bite of a cashew, and my throat, throat felt very itchy. I remember I was like, Neil, my brother Neil, 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 like, my throat feels itchy. This is so funny. And we were laughing about it, and I didn't even think anything of it. Nothing ever happened to me that day. So, um, so I'm like, guys, you know what? I think I'm allergic to, to nuts. But I was, like, saying it as a joke, and everyone was kind of, like, laughing. And, like, I don't even know why I said it, because, like, I didn't, I didn't, this is going to sound really ignorant, but I didn't know what allergies were, and I didn't know they could kill you. I honestly thought, because I just thought... I don't know, I just, I didn't, I honestly didn't even know what allergies were. So, my friend, I'm like, oh, I'm like, so I, I say no to the nuts, you know what, and I could have, I could have ended there, but then, um, I remember I was like, actually, Carly, can I try a nut? I mean, I've never really, I want to see what it tastes like. So, she hands me a box, I'm like, they all look so unappetizing, so, um, I'm like, wow, which one should I take? And Carly picks out this one called a cashew, and she's like, this one's my favorite, and I'm like, okay. So, I take one bite, and I swallow it. And immediately, my throat just immediately just feels really itchy and just so uncomfortable. And I'm like, guys, I, I think I'm allergic. And I keep, like, trying to swallow them and swallow them, and it's not working. I get iced tea from a fridge. I remember I kept drinking. I'm like, guys, 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 you want to know what they're saying to me? They're saying, Clancy, you're such a baby. No, you're not. Stop being a baby. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, guys, like, I'm seriously, like, I'm not even kidding. Like, my throat feels so itchy, blah, blah, blah. We go downstairs to our basement. We're playing video games. And I remember I was sitting there, and I remember Carly was sitting on the couch. I remember she was looking at me in a sort of way that she was concerned. And, I'm, and I was like, I was trying to play the video games, trying to do it. I couldn't. And, like, I just kept trying to swallow. The iced tea was kind of making it worse. Not really worse. It's just as I was progressing, it was getting worse. Ten minutes pass by, and I just put down the, the controllers, and I'm like, I'm going. Bye. And I just walk out, and I run home. But I remember Carly has, like, a mirror right before you walk out her door. I remember looking in the mirror and just being like, my, why are my ears so red? My ears are so red. And I was like, why? So um, I sprint home. She was down the block for me. So I sprint home, and I'm like, Mom, Dad, I think I'm having an allergic reaction. They didn't believe me either. So my mom and dad are like, Clancy, calm down, stop. So... I remember they, they said something like that because I remember I went inside and I remember I was like on the couch and I remember I was just on my center couch and I was, I just felt like sick. And you know, it's not sick how I feel now. Like how I feel now, I'm sick but I'm filming a video. It's kind of like whatever. Like it felt like my body was shutting down. Like it was a sickness that I couldn't handle. Like my throat was just all over the place. It was just the, the, the itchiest. It was closing up. I could feel it constricting, you know what I mean? My stomach was so nauseous. My head felt like a oh, thousand pounds. My body just felt like it couldn't, like, last. Like, I can't even explain it. And I remember I go to my mom, and I just was, like, screaming, crying at this point, I'm pretty sure. And I was like, you need to help me. Like, I think, I, I know I'm an allergic reaction. And it's so funny because I didn't know what an allergic reaction was, yet it was some sort of instinct inside of me that I was like, I'm having an allergic reaction. So weird, right? 
So, um, my mom didn't believe I was having an allergic reaction because I'd never been allergic to anything in my life. So she didn't believe me, so she thought I was just coming down with a cold. So she was, like, giving me Tylenol or whatever, and I remember as she was getting it, I was laying on the couch in my sunroom. I remember I was just so sick. I would normally never do this. I just, I, I wear glasses. I just took off my glasses, and I just chucked them as hard as I could against the wall. And you know how fragile glasses are? I just chucked them against the wall, and I just started screaming, like... Then we move into my um, den, and I was too sick to sw to swallow the medicine. I was like, I, can't, I was like, I can't do it. I felt like I was shutting down. Like it was, it was an indescribable feeling that I never want to experience, and I don't want anyone else to experience. So, um, so I'm like, I can't eat it. Blah blah blah, or drink it. My mom was like, you have to. You have a fever. Blah 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 blah. And I'm pretty. I'm almost positive that my body temperature was actually lower than normal, and I didn't have a fever. I'm pretty sure the thermometer was like 96 point something, something like that. I'm. I'm almost, it's really fuzzy because it was like five years ago, but I'm pretty sure my body temperature was actually lower than normal. Like it wasn't hot. It was cold. And so, um, and I remember I go into the bathroom and go to the bathroom, and I remember I was just itching myself and itching and itching. And I remember I was sitting on the couch and like. Like, like I said, I felt like my body was shutting down, and so for every word I said, it took a really big toll on me, and I remember I was like, should I tell mom I'm itchy? I'm like, uh, there's not even worth it, I can't even speak, and I remember out of nowhere, I was just like, just do it, and I, something inside me was like, just just say it, and I was just like, I feel itchy. It's, it, I, it is, I felt, I said it as if it's like, she's not even gonna respond, like, I just feel like saying it, like, it was weird, like, something inside of me just said, say that, and my mom was like, what? And, like, she lifted up my shirt, and I was just covered in hives. And I remember the look she gave me made me feel so... When she... As soon as she looked at me, like, she was like... I was like, I'm done! And so she just immediately was like, oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. She gets on the phone. She's trying to call my pediatrician. He's not answering, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm pretty sure she called my other pediatrician. Or someone. Someone maybe we didn't even know. It was like, they're like, get to a hospital, blah, blah, blah. And I remember when she said the word hospital, I was like, no! Because, like, I go to the, I'd gone to the hospital before, broken bones, stuff like that, and, like, you see people dying, you see, it's just really, it's not a good scene, like, it's so sad and scary, it's the scary, hospital, oh my gosh, so I started screaming and crying, I was like, they're gonna give me shots, I remember I was all scared of that, and then, like, mom's like, you don't know that, they might just rub cream on you, meanwhile, being all fast and frantic, because my mom knew what was happening at this point, and I didn't even know, and then, um, I remember, I, I got in the car in the back seat, and I was seventh grade. I sat in the back seat still. The car was not a good scene. I remember falling asleep a lot. Um, like I, I just kept like nodding on and off. At this point, it, it was like impossible to breathe. Like it was like, uh. oh, and one thing I remember is right before we left, I went into the bathroom, and I remember I didn't recognize myself. It was the scariest thing ever. Like I don't think you understand. I didn't look like myself. My eyes, you couldn't see them. They, were, my eyes were inside my sockets. Like, and it was just all, like, it was like this, and it was all, like, this skin was out to here, it was puffed around, my lips were, like, six of my lips, like, the size of this, my entire face was just bloated, I couldn't see straight, because I didn't have enough, like, room for my eyes, I remember just looking in the mirror and being like, who are you, like, as if I even had time to do that, because I was running around, but in that five seconds, I was just like, who are you, you're, this, this isn't you, like, I'll never get that image out of my head, so, we got to the hospital, and my dad drops us off at the front because it was, like, a really big frantic. I remember my mom, we went, went right to the desk, we were like, blah, blah, blah. Like, I wasn't talking, obviously. Mom's like, we need to get her, blah, 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 blah. And I remember I was standing up, and I remember I couldn't stand anymore, and I was leaning on to, like, things, and I was like, I'm like, oh, my gosh, blah, blah, blah. And my mom felt things out so quickly, and you know when you go to the emergency room and you break a bone? I don't know if you know this. You wait for, like, three hours. It was so immediate that they, I just went right through those doors, and um, they told me that if this ever happens again in the end... Don't even, don't even ask anyone. Don't even go to the front desk. Just walk right through those doors. They say unauthorized, can't walk through. Blah, blah. They said just walk through because this, you're gonna die. Okay. Um. So we walked through those doors, and I remember it's some this woman who was like English. A doctor was like asking for the symptoms, all that, blah blah. blah. At this point, I was, I wasn't there. Like I, I didn't know anything around me. I just wasn't even present. Like it was weird. And so I remember I sit down. And she's like blah blah blah. Asking all these questions. How long has she had the hives? The hives. The throat. Blah 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 blah. blah. She immediately is running around frankly with all, frantically with all these nurses, blah, blah, blah. Um, she's like, we need epi, blah, 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 blah. Which is really scary because epi is what they use in the movies when people are about to die and, like, it's kind of like that last chance, so that's really scary. But anyways, so, um, blah, 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 blah. And I remember they had to kind of, like, take off my pants to put on the, um, to shoot an epi pen into me. And I remember I was wearing, like, four pairs of pants because I went ice skating, you know, where you wear layers to ice skating rinks, you know, because it's so cold. And they're like, why, why, why is she wearing all this? And I was like, okay. Um, meanwhile, at this point, I wasn't talking. And I remember before they could get it all into me, I stopped breathing. And, oh, my God. That was the worst feeling ever. Like, my airway had completely shut down. And I was like... <laughs> and I just remember, I, 
I, I it's like the perfect picture you go to take a breath and there's nothing coming out like in whatever like and I remember she was putting things into me blah 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 and I remember I was like I remember I was laying completely down and I remember just like coming up like this <laughs> and not being able to breathe and it only lasted like not a lot of time and I remember she was speaking so slowly like like like, like as if like as if I was breathing do you want the oxygen mask I'm like yeah I want the oxygen mask like I can't breathe like come on so she put the oxygen mask on me shoved IVs into me intravenous fluid get all the things in me blah 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 Everyone was running around. I, I just remember, just oh my gosh, it was such a bad feeling. I had to put the hospital gown on really quickly. Like they just put it on, um, and then I remember I could breathe again. And, um, and I remember it was just the scariest thing ever. And I just stayed there, you know, like overnight. Just like slept there for like a little. Now, like I, I didn't have to go home like the next day. It was next like really or, or really early morning. Gosh, like basically, like, if I got there two minutes later, who knows if I'd even still be here? Like, because if I stopped breathing when the oxygen tank wasn't there and all of the fluids, intravenous, all that, who knows, like, you know what I mean? It was just so scary, like, it was so scary. I remember that's a, you know, those tubes where you, in the movies where you see them and it's like on their nose or whatever, I had to have that on me. And then later, you know, when we're in the hospital, they explain, I went into anaphylactic shock, you can Google it, I'll spell it out here. Basically, it's just your entire airway is shut down, leads to the cardiac arrest. Um, you just feel like you're dying, like you are dying, basically. Um, you have, it's, it's scary. Because if I were to eat a cashew nut right now, the chances of me surviving are slim to none. Or if I were to have a allergic reaction, because every single time it gets worse and worse. And I don't know how it could possibly get worse than the last time. Like, that, I almost died. Like, I was this close to dying. So, basically, um, the, 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 the badness didn't end there, though, because, when you're that close to dying, it's so scary, and um, I had the worst anxiety attacks following. I was so traumatized by having allergic reaction again and dying and all of that, everything that happened to me, that I didn't leave my house. I didn't. I stuck to my mom's side, and I didn't leave it because I was just so scared. So entire seventh grade, I just was in my house and. I felt safe at school because of the school nurse, but I would wait, I would get home and like think about it, I have lunch at like what, 12, 11.55, something like that. I would wait till my mom got home at like 6.30 to have dinner because I, I needed my mom to be there when I had dinner. I don't know why I didn't trust my dad, it's actually kind of funny now that I think about it, but I, I'd be starving. I lost so much weight. I remember I'd be at Carly's house watching a movie and all, we'd be just be watching a regular movie and I'd just I'd feel like, I'd like imagine a tickle in my throat and all of a sudden go into a panic attack and just sprint home and then I'd be hysterically crying and anxiety attacks they're so real you you could die from an anxiety attack it spikes your heart rate you start shaking you can't breathe anymore and I remember we went right to the emergency room and a lot of the times they actually thought I was having allergic reaction because I was having so many symptoms similar to you know what I mean I couldn't breathe which was a sign of allergic reaction you know what I mean like it was like all of the symptoms except it wasn't like it was like me doing it to myself and so um Every night, every single time, I don't know why I was at night, every single time it came to night, my, I would just be like, Ugh. it was, it was the worst. Like every night, every morning I'd wake up and I'd be like, here's another day of like torture where I have to like fight for my life. And like, it'd be okay during the morning. I don't know, at nighttime though, I think it's because it initially happened at night, you know what I mean? It would be bad. Um, my parents and I, we had to go to the, we tried a lot, we tried many different hospitals. No, we just tried a couple different hospitals because I don't know. And, um. We had to go to the emergency room oh, so many nights because I thought I was dying. And, like, even though I would tell myself, all right, but you were, f the only place I felt safe was a hospital. And, like, so I didn't feel safe in my own house. I didn't feel safe out with my friends. I didn't feel safe anywhere. And that's a really bad feeling. And, um, so I, I would go to the hospital. They would treat me for an allergy attack. They gave me shots. They'd hook me up. They'd do all of that. They'd give me pills. They'd do everything. And I remember one time when they kind of, I was a regular in the emergency room, so when they kind of realized this was anxiety attacks, um, they, had, I remember one time this doctor like sat me down and she's like, you need to, you need to figure out what works for you for when you have these attacks. You need to, you need to remember, I'm safe. Well, she gave me this whole big speech. I remember I was just like, I hate you. I was, I was too nervous to eat anything. I couldn't even eat bread, so I lost a whole bunch of weight. I was disgustingly skinny, I think. Um, disgusting, like, not even good. Um, that's why when people always talk about being fat, I'm kind of like, and like, 
when people think it's acceptable to be too skinny, I kind of just, I don't know, kind of like, when people are like, I'm too fat, I'm too this, like, oh, only being fat is what's bad, like, kind of think, like, well, I mean, I suppose being fat, you know, is bad or whatever, but, like, you also have to understand that, like, being too skinny could, like, really not be good, too, you know what I mean? And, like, it's just as bad as being too fat, basically, when you feel like you're too skinny. It's a really bad feeling because there's nothing I could do about my weight. Like, there was nothing I could do. So, I went to the emergency room so many times. I had a collection of hospital bracelets. And then also the things that you see at the hospital, that also affected me a lot. I mean, I mean the first time there was a man in a coma sitting next to me. This girl, I remember she came in and she had like a 105, 106 fever and she was dying because of that. They had to take off all of her clothes, put her in an ice bucket. I remember one night, one of the nights where I was normally we go to the hospital, I instead sat in my room. And I just sat on the floor and I was like, you're going to die right now, but it's what's going to happen and it's just what's meant to be. Like, you're just about to die. You know, it was a good life you lived, but you can't keep going to the hospital like this. And I remember just laying on my floor. I remember eventually just passing out. No, just falling asleep. Like, I, it wasn't because of anything. And I remember just waking up and I just remember being like, you didn't die. Like, you can do this. Like, you can do it. So I remember having to order. I couldn't eat anything, so I had to order specific um, nut-free um, food like I ordered nut free candy and um, nut, nut free like snacks and all of that then I ordered I was so scared that I ordered nut free dairy free gluten -free. I ordered everything I ordered everything free food it kind of tasted like disgusting but I was so thankful for that um, I also had to use my EpiPen which an EpiPen I don't have one with me right now but basically it's this shot that you have to carry as an as an out an anaphylactic gal no but um you have to carry it around everywhere with you because you can't take a chance I mean if you don't have allergic reaction, you don't have it, you're, you're gone. You're done. Like, it happens so quickly. Like, your whole body just shuts down like that. Um, so I remember one of the times, it wasn't really an allergic reaction. I, mom's like, we have to use the EpiPen. She comes in, blah, blah, blah. She had to stick it right in me. My adrenaline was running so high, though. And, like, I was just so, like, it was such a bad anxiety attack that I didn't even feel the shot. Like, you know, you normally feel a shot go over? I didn't even feel it. I was like, did it even go in? And my mom, it's a really long needle. And it, she took it out. It wasn't that big. It was like, you know, I'd say that big. And it was all like bent. I don't even know what the heck that was about. Um, but yeah, it's just like a really tough situation, you know. It was really hard to deal with. But eventually, right now, I don't have anxiety attacks at all. I'm completely fine with that. It only lasted for like 7th and 8th grade. It's about like 2 years. I honestly didn't even leave my house. I remember having to cancel so many things because of my anxiety attacks. For example, there's this dance that I went to every year for like everyone who plays sports in like my town or whatever. I remember my friend Carly was so happy and we were so happy we were going, blah, blah, blah. Remember she called me, she's like, blah, 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 blah. I remember I had to call her back and I was just like, um, I came down with something, blah, 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 because I couldn't stand the idea of me being somewhere. Like, I was just too nervous to go out, to leave my house, basically. And like, I was too nervous to even do that. I couldn't even go to the dance. I had to cancel. I basically had to cancel everything. And so I remember I couldn't even eat pizza from the pizza place. I mean, I was just so scared something was going to get into it. I mean, now I'm kind of more light about it. Like, it's kind of like I'd rather just keep living my life and then die. I don't know. I don't know. But basically, I don't really have the problem anymore. I mean, every so often, all of a sudden, it's like once a year. All of a sudden, I'll just, like, all of a sudden just be like, is it happening? And, like, I get really nervous. But I'm really light about it now. I mean, I eat, I take so many risks and stuff. It was kind of one of those things that defines you, though. And so I feel like I'm a better person because of it. I respect the life so much more. And I'm actually kind of, I'm not glad that it happened. Eh, I don't know. That's what I wrote in my college essay, though. Bye-bye. <laughs>